so today we have the somewhere between 84 and 85 wheel horse 414 8 uh, it's got a little steering issues I'm gonna see if I can repair that today so I really got no idea what I'm doing here but that's half the fun of tinkering around in the barn maybe we'll learn something together I know I gotta lift the hood Well, looks like we can pull the battery out of here. Well, I can see a lot of the problem right now. Let's see if we can get down in there and see that. Well, let me pull the battery out. We'll be able to see it better. I'm pretty sure that's part of the problem right there. Yeah, a piece that holds the steering gear in place is broken and uh, a little rusty. Might have to put a piece of angle iron in there or something to stiffen that up. We'll find the sweet spot where, it, hell yeah, you can see it picks up so it jumps over the gear on the bottom. That shouldn't be too hard to fix. Oh yeah, so, oh, looks like the first thing we're going to have to do is pull off this top piece here that the steering wheel goes through, might have to pull the steering wheel off, hope not because I probably got nothing I can pull it off with, but uh, we'll find out. That looks like a 7 sixteenths or something to that effect. Absolutely. Half inch, just like I said. Perfect. Better give me a picture of those wires. Might not get them back in the right spot.
Bet you never thought that'd start turning. It's a good thing there's another one right here I can unscrew. I can strip that one. Piece of cake. I put my glasses on and I still can't see. Okay, so I pulled the uh, steering gear up out of the steering box and I just got to pull the throttle cable off there and then I can pull that whole piece off. Okay, you can see that there's a pin right there. I'm going to knock it out from the other side, pull the steering wheel off, and then I can probably get the shaft out of here and fix it correctly. So that roll pin's probably been in there about 35 years or so Maybe it's been in there ever since the tractor was new in 1984. I don't know so it ain't coming out I'm gonna have to take a drill to it see if I can't drill it out So I can get this steering wheel off We'll see how that goes I'm Gonna use my drill press I'm gonna stick this in here start drilling and press down on it Ow! That hurt.
Hmm. That sucks. Well, that sucker's hard. I'm on plan C. This in the dang vice. I like that. I think that might be a little too big. Around. Was getting somewhere. Apparently not. That looks like a good fit. Let's see if I can break that. but bendy and back down oh, that's a nice
Ooh, that hurt. Well, let me try this here screw, see if I can finish it off. Got it. That sucker was uh, quite large and been in there a long time. Hey, look at that, it got the steering wheel off. Slide this steering column off. Slide this plate off. And uh, build a piece to go right here so it'll be sturdy again. Well, I don't know if this camera works with welding, so I'll try it. I've never recorded anything before. Now I'm going to attack these holes at the end of the crack uh, and see what happens. That is after I turn it on. Uh, not bad for a 15 year old welder that cost me 60 bucks, runs on 110. Okay, I changed my plan a little bit. I'm not going to put a piece of angle iron on here and uh, weld it on, have to drill a hole in it. So I went ahead and welded this back up. It's weak though. Looks like it's been welded before, before I even had it. Um, so what I did is I found an old edger blade. The hole is the exact same size for the bushing. And I'll just put it behind here and trim it down so that the holes line up, welded on, it'll be perfect. Change number 532. There's no reason to cut the edger off. I just put it on the outside. I got a good place to weld it here and here and then on the back side. Glasses. Oh, dead battery. Okay, let's see if we can't do that up. right inside my boot.
What table? Well, you know, it had a really nice card table with a oh. really nice weird chairs. I hated how they folded it up. Yeah. I don't think I sold those. I, I think those that's in the uh, basement, ain't it? I don't remember seeing that. There's a Thor hammer back here? Yeah. So I think the reason I think the reason this probably went bad in the first place, that hole right there should, I'm guessing, line up with that hole right there. But as you can see the set screw was actually down here, so I'm thinking that allowed that to get loose. And so it got sloppy in there and it ended up bending things. But uh, we'll put it back together and see what happens. Oh, put a little grease on the end of this and see if I can get it back down in the hole where it's supposed to go. My buddy says that there's supposed to be a plastic cap on the end of it. Obviously there's not, so we'll see what happens. I want my bushing. I gotta get it down in that hole and find the uh, gearbox that it goes into. Let's see how that works out. Feels like I got it in there in one try. How about that? Now, just see if we can get everything back on and make it steer, get it tight enough. Just put our pieces back together. Hopefully, let's put them on right. something to do with the PTO. I don't know. It feels like it's hitting something there. Huh. I never would have guessed that. Probably got it all messed up now. Seems to work. Guess we'll find out when we start her up.
bad guy, it would be a golf pro, I'll just set it somewhere, and they'll put a sign on there, golf, le golf les lessons, yeah. one million dollars an hour. <laughs> one million dollars an hour. Honey? <laughs> Caddyshack, Bill Murray. Perfect. Perfect. I think it's going to work. Oh, let me see if we got a roll pin this big. Perfect fit. Get a hammer. Well, that's going to scare like it's brand new. I haven't steered right since I had it. Been meaning to fix it, never did. Until now. Guess I should put the battery back in, huh? The big deal is if it starts again. Put my special battery holder back on. Perfect. Well, if she all works, it'll be perfect. Well, I'm extremely happy how that turned out. Uh, that thing's never turned that good in the 20 years I've had it. It always skipped a gear when I was trying to turn. I've been wanting to fix it, but I have so many projects going on, I never had time. This morning, my wife said, you know what? We got all of our projects done. So I said, I'm gonna try and fix the steering on that wheel horse. 
and that's what I did. Next time we come up with a project to do, just remember, I'll be in the barn.